I wanted to make an illustration of Elsa. Um, I started I actually wanted to make a very stylized one where her back was like totally straight and her hair would be at the same line, but it didn't end up that way. I went more realistic. And here we see uh, correcting her face. Because I want it to be more rounded and not as straight down and up. I still went with her, her straight back and such. But it's not as stylized as, a, uh, as I had in my head. <laughs> I was trying the whole way. And in the end, it's, you can't even see her back. That You can't even see it. So, here I wanted her to, to have a very evil expression, so I told her her head down and uh, edited her eyes so it's like more, I'm staring evil at you. Oh yeah, be prepared for some very random comments at uh, various times of the drawing when I actually come up with stuff to say. Oh yeah, you can see her braid. I started with wanting to do a braid, but then I looked at some reference where I saw it was actually just a twist. So I was like, that's easier. Yeah, yeah, let's, let's do that. But um, but Elsa has a braid in the movie, so I was like, don't go the easy way. So in a minute you will see me erasing uh, the twist braid. Oh, the twist braid, the twist, and uh, I'm trying to do a braid thing. Here we go, yeah. I saw some techniques where you can actually draw hearts and then correct it afterwards to make it look more like a braid. I like how the brain turned out. Braid turned out. So I kept it that way. Oh, here we are. Uh, I found some really good reference with the light coming from the front and being uh, dark at the, the back. So here we go. Uh, putting in the highlights. I couldn't see her back. Oh, here. Uh, details when I wanted to draw the light in, so I was like, let's make it a little lighter so I can actually see the outline. But I scratched that in the end. And just her back just kind of faded out in the background. Kind of like it. I actually think the, the gradient I put over helped me acquire detail very quickly. You can just see it here, her chin part, from, from light to, to black. So easy. Oh yeah, I'm highlighting the hair more. So you can see what it is and where it goes. I have so much trouble uh, getting my editing program to take the files because the files my recorder uh, ended up with was FLV and it's just not very editable in the various programs. So I ended up having to convert the file and it took ages. Oh yeah, here we are detailing the eye and putting in some shadows, making it more dramatic. I really liked how her eye turned out. Oh, color! Woo! I started out in the grayscale and I put the uh, color in. Uh, I think it's on, what is it, multiply? No, I think you can see what it says on the side. 
icy blue eyes. I love it. And I finally settled on one layer. When the color turned out very strong. Oh yeah, whenever I uh, have longer breaks it's either because uh, I took a break or I took some a time to look at references and, and stuff. Here I am uh, doing the background and I wanted to really emphasize her, her eye. And here I found this red, red transition and I just loved it, so um, I went with it. I'm flashing in some details and correcting her lip. Here again I'm I paint a little blue over the red to emphasize the red in the middle. Yes, I'm correcting her chin. That was like, yes, it's just what it needed. And a longer break than I thought. Yeah, yeah, I added the, um, the snow. And I wanted to like make some uh, motion in it. So I took some, some blur. It was motion blur and then like stretched it a bit. Yes, here we go, motion blur. This is something I, I do often actually. I make a I make the black in the outer edges so that your eye leads in into the middle. And I'm finally correcting her clothes. Because she actually has that uh, transparent a sleeve and a little bit of the front. Oh yeah, I tried to to raise some of the, the green undertones. Didn't really think that looked that great. Yep, here comes the logo. And in the middle, yes. And here we are. Done. Queen Elsa, seeing red. <laughs> 